In this video, I am going to give you a lecture on non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs that is NSAID in short. And the topic which I will be cover in this chapter will be the introductions and the most common prescribed drugs of NSAID, their, their small definition, also their classification and uh, a little bit details on one compound or example of NSAID. The introductions of NSAID. As NSAID, as they are widely used class of medication, and in this NSAID, you will be seeing that they have three main uses, that is to relieve their pain, re reduce the inflammation, and to bring down a high temperature. Now, NSAID are available in tablet form, and also you can find this uh, NSAID drugs even in a topical as a topical treatment, a cream, gel or lotion that is rubbed into the specific part of the body. And they are very less commonly used as a suppositories. That is, a capsule that is inserted into the rectum. What are the, con the conditions which is treated with the NSAID? Let us see. This NSAID are used to treat a wide range of acute and a chronic, that is, a short term and a long term condition. Some common acute conditions that can be treated with NSAID include your headache, painful periods, infections such as the common cold or the flu. Most types of arthritis, including rheumatoid arthritis or, their, or the osteoarthritis and also the back pain. So let's see what are the most commonly prescribed or uh, most commonly used of this NSAID drugs. You will find that diclofenax, ibuprofen, nafroxen, silicozib, they are all the most commonly prescribed NSAID drugs. Most of the NSAID listed above are generic medicine, which means that their production and distribution is not limited to a single company. Now, two NSAID are available over the counter that is OTC without the need for a prescription. Example your ibuprofen. The next will be your definition of non steroidal anti inflammatory drug or in short as NSAID. What do you mean by NSAID? NSAID they are those drugs which are usually used for the treatment of those patients who are needed to reduce their pain or also decrease their fever. They can also use to prevent the blood clot and in higher dose and also they can use to decrease the inflammation. But beside that they also have some, as, some side effects. But these side effects depend on the specific drugs but largely include an increased risk of gastrointestinal ulcer and also the bleeding, heart attack and the most commonly is the kidney disease. Classification of NSAID NSAID has been classified into four groups. The first group will be your non-selective COX inhibitor and the example will be your salicylate that is the drug's name it will be your aspirin, propionic acid derivative that will be your ibuprofen and so on. And number two group will be your selective COX-2 inhibitor. The example or the drugs which is used for the selective COX-2 inhibitor will be your selicoxib and rofecoxib. And number three group will be your preferential selective COX inhibitor. And the drug used in this group will be your nimsolite and melozicam. Also, the last group will be your analgesic antipyretic with poor anti-inflammatory effect, that is your parastamol. We have finished with the introduction, the classification, and also the definition of NSAID. So let us see one compound of NSAID. More details. And the example will be your indomethacin. Let's see the molecular formula. Its molecular formula is C19, H16, Cl, NO4. And their molecular weight will be 357.8 gram per mole. Storage, they can usually store at room temperature that is away from your light and also moisture. And it have a melting point that is 158 to 162 degrees centigrade. And when you dissolve this, it is usually soluble in acetone and slightly soluble in ethanol, chloroform, ether and almost insoluble in water.
Mechanism of action of indomethacin. Where it get inhibited? Indomethacin, as you know, it is a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug. This drugs they have a similar mood of action when compared to other drugs in this group they falls under the non-selective inhibitors of cyclooxygenase that is cox 1 and 2 but what do you mean by cox 1 and 2 this cyclooxygenase they are the enzyme that usually participate in prostaglandin synthesis that is from arachidonic acid this prostaglandin, they are the hormones like molecules normally found in the body where they have a wide variety of effects, some of which lead to the pain, fever, and inflammation. So, by inhibiting the synthesis of this prostaglandin, this indomethacin can reduce pain, fever, and inflammation. Indomethacin mechanism of action along with the several other drugs, they inhibit COX. As you know that every drug, it have a little bit of side effect. So do the indomethacin drugs. This also, some of the common side effects of this indomethacin, it is your nausea, you will feel nausea, vomiting, also some part of heartburn, diarrhea, you feel there, your stomach pain, constipation, headache and also dizziness. How and where do we use indomethacin? Indomethacin is used to relieve pain, and also swelling mostly it can use in joint stiffness which is caused by arthritis quads bursitis and tendonitis this indomethacin is also used to relieve the pain which is from various other condition since this medication is also known as non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs or in short NSAID this is all for today lecture Thank you.